My name is Barry Coleman. I'm the welfare manager with the Irish Greyhound Board. The board runs a trust which rehomes retired racing dogs. Numbers wise, uh, maybe in the region of 300 greyhounds. You racing. never see a stray greyhound. Right, okay. If you're here, you won't see a greyhound wandering the roads because a, a, a lot of the Irish know about it. The police know it, especially if they see a greyhound, they just go up to it. The dog will come up to people, right? Okay. So the dog comes up to people, they look at their ears, they see the owners, they ring straight away us. We say, what number? Put it into the computer, yeah, that belongs to. Bring it into us here and we look after it. We give it to the person. So if somebody was to release the dog into the wild like that, we would come down on them like bricks. And they, like, there's a whole fining procedure in the courts and all the rest. It's an offence to do that, you know, right? So we would take it very, 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 very seriously. Danny Hazlitt, uh, you're a vet here at Farmhill Clinic. Right. You've been operating on the dog today to try and basically save his life. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the main injuries he's sustained are around his head. He's had his ears completely cut off. Why would somebody do this to a young greyhound? As a raising greyhound, he would have had a tattoo in the ear, which would identify him, a birth tattoo, the date of birth and his owner. So they cut the ears off so that the owner can't... An investigation is underway after six greyhounds were found dead at a disused quarry in Limerick. It's believed the dogs had been shot. The Irish Greyhound Board, Board na Gunn, says it's working with Gardaí to bring the offenders to justice. John Corkery from Love Lane Charleville has been fined €800 Euro after two of the six dogs discovered dumped in the quarry were traced back to him using tattooed ear markings. Newcastle West District Court today heard that Corkery had taken one of the dogs for trials but it showed no ability to chase the hare. The second dog had been injured and Mr Corkery admitted arranging for a third person to shoot both dogs. He told Gardy he saw nothing wrong with shooting a dog in the You were here before Mr Neil in 2008. You were again talking about procurement and other matters and loss of taxpayers' money. And you said at that time that you had learned valuable lessons from that period. You would only have come into the organisation then, isn't that right? Just uh, around then. Correct. Yeah. And I have to say that it's quite shocking reading the, the various reports of the activities of the Greyhound Board and the boards One and the, of the losses. genuine board members uh, of the Irish Greyhound Board wrote to yourself, Minister, uh, on the 19th of July last, um, uh, outlining his major concerns, uh, Mr Brendan Moore, uh, on the 19th of July, you have a copy of the letter uh, here. One minute, uh, and he raised a number of extremely pertinent questions. Uh, he went on to say that at the present moment, Board the Gong is heavily indebted to a commercial really bank. One of the biggest issues I'm hearing is around the doping of dogs and the, and the amount of using en en enhancers to, to en en drugs to enhance their performance, that that really is uh, uh, de dealing a death blow to the whole industry. Uh, in 2012, I understand that there were 6,000 samples taken from dogs, but up until January of this year, only 17 results of those tests have been published. Uh, serious questions about the re rebuild of Limerick, for example, and, and the redesign of the first bend there in particular, and some of the legal issues that are, have pertained to that, injuries to, to, to animals, um, etc. I found your speech today, Minister, very comforting, but I was actually, none of us are in the mood for comforting because um, all the senators have spoken today you know, we all know the allegations against Board Nagon are very serious at the moment. I mean, what went on in the PAC last November, the Limerick scandal, you know, the, the misuse of taxpayers' money. Uh, can I also ask you, Minister, if you have full faith in the board members of the IGB? <laughs>